Good morning, brothers. Welcome to the Brown Bag Gentlemen. And today we're going to have a nice little treat. We've got a couple of, uh, well, we're actually one, one item for Father's Day that we'll be using for shaving. And I gave it an unboxing for it earlier this week. And that was this gorgeous Polish china bowl with a hummingbird in it. I just thought that that's just, I mean, in real life, this is just, it's just gorgeous. So it's been soaking in the sink. It's nice and warm. I know it's late June here in the South, but yeah, it's still a warm shave. I don't care if it's 90 degrees and 100% mugginess. It's it's still nice to have a warm sh um, shave, especially because because here in the South, we have our air conditioning is running. So it's cool in the house. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of a nice thing. So today we're going to use Darby soap. I know it looks like Derby, but I understand it's pronounced Darby. <laughs> it's lemon. Of course, lemon's my favorite. And because of that, we're going to have the Sterling Lemon Chill. I can't use this soap because it's methylated. I can't use methylated soap on my skin. It doesn't, doesn't bode well for the shave itself. Post-shave, it's great. Tightening up the pores. That's when I want my pores tightened after the shave. After I've cleaned the soap off my face and all that so it doesn't junk up my pores. So that's why, for me, it's important not to do a methylated soap. I don't do the Parasso soaps anymore, unfortunately. The green. I mean, I enjoy the green um, as far as the scent. But yeah, that was an early on soap and I kind of discovered early on too that it just, even that mild little amount of menthol gets to me. I've got the lemon chill soap. I'll show it to you. Here's the matching soap. I just don't use it. My wife does. She can get away with it. I can't. So there's that storing the soaps and the menthol. But menthol for me, yeah, post-shave menthol is awesome. I love menthol at post-shave. But today's razor is the Gillette Fat Boy 1959 that's been um, revamped by Delta Echo, which is no longer in business, unfortunately. Um, so you can't get one like this, but I just thought that was cool. They call this the um, the Cubana. So yeah, it's kind of that, that cigar motif. And yes, I enjoy an occasional cigar. So yes, I just thought that was, that just, it was kind of cool. I have got it. Sorry, I'm doing this without glasses on. I've got it on number seven. Can you see that? Number seven. See the little red dot? Number seven. There, I can see it there. So yeah, that's that's the setting that I like. If you're starting out with one of these, if you get one of these off eBay and you want to try it, especially if it's not tuned and all that, start at about number three or four. Start at low. And it works. But seven is, for me, for all three passes, I just stick with seven. Some guys like to start at nine, away up the top and on the first pass and then back it down, second pass, back it down, third pass. I leave it. I like to set it, set it, and forget it. What was that old, um, those old um, infomercial commercials where they're selling you something? Set it, and forget it. <laughs> so that's what I like to do with a with the Delta Echo razor. I like just like to set it and forget it. So today, yes, you're gonna watch me lather because the bowl's so stinking pretty. I just wanted to do that. So I'm taking it out of the bowl. I'm taking it out of the water now. You let it drip out. Get my little Darby here. Oh, let's give this cap off. Get my right hand. There we go. I can put it on the brush. I choose to put it in the bowl. Right underneath the hummingbird right there. So it's about an almond size. And everybody will tell you that's what you want to put in there. And that is loads of soap. It's enough for a couple guys shaving really. To, to, even on almond side. That little bit. Let me show you that again. That little bit of soap is plenty. I could get six passes out of that with no issues. I really could. But it seems to be a good amount for, for, I mean, yes, I'm Scottish and I'd like to go half that then. And if that's up, but yeah, it doesn't quite work as well. Two shakes and squeeze out the brush. Couldn't quite see that, but, and I do want to, I'm going to put my tips, tips of the brush. are going to go back in the water a little bit before I even get started. Just the tips. There we go. Ah. Getting that lemony whiff. You know, it's a little runny. I mean, I put a little bit too much water to start with. It's been a while, but but it's, it's thickening up. You can tell it's thickening up. I did 100 strokes clockwise. Now I'm going to go 100 strokes counterclockwise. This beautiful bowl. Go. I'm just 
doing a little bit. I've done my my hundred strokes. I'm just doing a little bit more flat where I can where I can see it. I'm just looking at here. I'm probably going to go another fifty strokes, just because I want to. I'm getting for that sense of leather that I want. So I'm continuing to go, and I'm kind of liking this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's kind of where I like it now. Okay, so it's still a little. It's it's whippy. It peaks. It's a little on the thinner side. Thinner side of normal, we'll say. For me, my normal. <laughs> it might be thick for you, who knows? <laughs> there we go, rinse my hands off now. Of course, I have styled the hair already this morning, got the gel in the hair. But I have not washed the face yet, so let's wash the face. So yeah, it's gonna be a longer video, because you'll see me Whip up the soap and wash my face. So yeah. Every now and again it's good just to see all the steps. Just to remind you, all the steps. And it's Saturday. I can take my time. The the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Pre-Shave Cube. And I like this. Do you have to use it? No. I like it. I think Fran and Douglas do a nice job with this thing. And you can leave it on, or you can wash it off. I use it as a pre-shave facial wash, so I don't leave it on. I like to wash it off. And you're looking at three days growth too. That's, by the way, just to mention that out there. My shaving schedule got knocked off this week. Normally for Saturday, I try to save you maybe skip Friday to give you two days growth to see, so you can see something. T today is three days because I had some back issues this week. I was out of week a couple, out of work a couple of days. The bad back, I popped my back out, and it was I was in a lot of pain, a lot of pain for a couple of days, and I then it popped back in. So yeah, Tuesday was out. It happened Monday, and I was sore. I worked, and I was sore. But then by Tuesday, I was now I didn't sleep Monday night. I was in agony all day Tuesday. Tuesday night, I didn't sleep. Um, Wednesday, um, of course, the heat on the you know I put those thermal patches on there, which I love by the way. Thermal patches are really good. But, um, yeah, that's, but it popped back in Wednesday. So by Thursday, I was back to work. Sore, but back to work, you know, good enough to work. I got a desk job. I'm not up and about, so don't want to be lazy. And I can't say it's an age thing because I've had this back issue since my early 20s. I worked in a deli as an assistant deli manager way back in the early 80s. And we used to lift heavy stuff, you know, a couple of cases of hams at a time. And I kind of went off angle one time. That just was the like, first time I really hurt my back. Of course, in your 20s, you don't let it, you just keep going. But that was, that was I kind of marked it as my first time really, really had time where I needed to take a day off because I, my back was hurting. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so it's not an old man thing, <laughs> per se. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that lemon. Oh yeah, lemon. I enjoy lemon. Okay, we're gonna try into the notes. I don't know how what I was gonna do because you notice you didn't see me last week with the um, twig razor and you won't see me because I was gonna bring it to church to give to Father Craig to try, but he was out last week. I didn't realize he was out. I for, I forgotten he was out. I think he, I knew he was going, but I forgot. So I'm gonna bring it to him this week. So I didn't want, of course, use it and have to clean it again, so I just didn't use it this week. Not that I shaved that much this week. But I want him to try that razor because I think he's going to like that front of his nose. He has a mustache and, and Van Dyke thing going on too, so. And if I say, if you're going to get a Gillette, if, if, if you haven't, if you've already had your first razor and you've, you've tried the Gillette Tex of whatever form and you find it kind of mild, if you want to step it up to one of these, you can get one of these decent shape for 50-ish dollars, thereabouts, one side or the other, 50 bucks. I played, I paid less in person from somebody. And I also see them, you know, 80 to 100, but generally 50 bucks, Etsy, 
eBay, you can you can find it for fifty. You really you can. Setting seven is just right for me. I mean, could I have gone to number nine on the first pass? Absolutely, not even an issue. Um, it felt like I wanted a little bit more there too, but that's the first pass. I'd like to set it and forget it so I have it. So by the third pass done, it's you know it feels good by that third pass. It's just it's just right. So it may be just a little aggressive. Why not? Whoops, I didn't go under the nose. Well, I'll get it on the second pass. No big deal. There's no law that says I have to do it on the first pass. <laughs> okay, yet the the cream is a little little thin because it's you know it just dropped out some, but but you know still a nice cream. Second crab, second pass across the grain. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. There you go, nice. Oh, that feels good. That feels like it's doing something. And do I feel like it's feeling aggressive? No, I can just I can hear it and I can feel the the the, the hair slicing. And yeah, definitely you know brought it down from the first pass. It really did. I could, I can tell the difference. But you know, I don't consider this for me. This is just not that aggressive a razor. But seven is just it's that sweet spot for me. For three passes, seven works. But you got to work up to that. You see, so you start with down the low numbers. So this is all I got. So I'm really missing a twig right now. Because the twig just does superb under the nose. It just is it's the best razor. It just if you're gonna shave on a nose, the little half mustache, get a twig. I mean, you won't regret it. If any of you have the vector razor, I'd be curious to see what you say about that for right up here, tight up under the nose. I suspect it would be good, and for two hundred dollars, I'd like it to be good. Comparison, I you know, see I spent forty five pre-production for my twig and I think they go for like 60 or so now maybe 60 to 80 somewhere in there I think I think it's yeah I think it's less than 80 more than 60 maybe when they first came out and now they're talking about the thorn and I already want a thorn I already do and if you saw my discussion on the thorn I mean on the twig I only had to say the the one negative thing to say and what razor is perfect there, there's not one out there really so yeah i didn't care for that the um that the balance point didn't have some kind of grip on it that the grip stuff was top and bottom but not in the middle where the where you're going to hold it and i'm not the only one i think um who's the new guy i've been watching i like this this other young buck here that's he's got like twice the membership i do so still small time subi subi yeah subi is a guy i like subi i like watching subi yesterday and here you have some technical stuff he does. He does different things with his racers, which is kind of cool. He was using two blades yesterday when I was watching in his twig razor. So he split that razor in half and used both halves. That was kind of cool. And he's done other stuff where he's made a, a artist club blade fit in into like a twig style razor or something. He's done stuff like that too. And different things like that. And he's, he's a head shaver. I'm not into like, I know a lot of guys are, and I have Chris from my MCDB is a head shaver too. I'm not there yet. I plan I probably will be at some point, but I'm not there yet. There's still enough in the front there. When the back goes even more then yeah, then I'll probably go to that. But I'm not there yet. Oh, just kind of scratched my nose with the blade. Not being careful. Yeah, this doesn't get anywhere near as good as a twig, but it's the design of the head too. It's a little bit bigger. I'd call this really like more mi middle-sized head. Really, the biggest head I have, I think, is on probably on the timeless, and that is such an enjoyable razor. But up tight up underneath the nose, yeah, that's why you don't see me use it right now. Until I get my twig back, when I get my twig back, yeah, I'll use it. But until then, no. <laughs>
get no no here. Just right on that edge where the hair stops growing, you gotta get it all. <laughs> a little bit of buffing. And one thing that I noticed that, oops, yeah, I did see I got a little blood on the nose. Yeah, I, I nicked myself in the nose. You know, I'm paying enough attention. Because I promise you, I really don't shave my nose. I really, I don't. <laughs> I think I cut myself in the nose too, especially more with a half mustache. But not with the twig. That twig just small and fits in there nice. It gets in there tight. It just it just works. And now that they're gonna be make, making that other one there, I'm really enjoying that. But let's get back to this 1959 Gillette Fat Boy, doing an admirable job. You can see by the third pass here, I'm buffing a little bit. Feel it right there. There it goes. Now I heard that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I got it. All right. Got to get it at the right angle. There. Something right there. There we go. Okay. Now I'm happy. Does an admirable job. Yes, I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Nice fresh shave. I don't have the blood on the nose. Let me get my minute, my Allen block. I saw that last week, so we'll use that again. Which means I won't be using... If I'm using the Allen block, I'm not using the witch hazel. So I'm going to use the Allen block today because I got a little nick. Okay. Running the warm water in the sink to get my washcloth warm. Sink over to cold. So let that run cold while I'm wiping down with this warm washcloth. Just trimmed down the beard yesterday. I went up against the beard. Oh, I know the four sitting instead this time. Try the two was really close. I didn't want to be that close, but that seems to be about perfect. And then I come up under the underneath the handlebars. So I always have the mustache a little bit too here. And of course, I, I get this down so it seems shorter here because it's just the way it gets. So I might have to play with that. If I bring the mustache just a little bit skinnier, then I'll do it down only on it, or yeah, maybe down or maybe up only. I'll have to play with that just to see how to get it even across. So right now, I kind of like those like this, you know, where I where I. It. But yeah, I just like it short. I don't like it. I don't like it going long. That's not my thing. I'd always thought about it like some of those guys, especially the little guys with a they got some whisker hanging on there. But yeah, I'm, that's not me. Can't do that. <laughs> so our brush did, of course, this this is the Razor Rock 400 classic brush. Oops. Sorry, let me rinse my hand my face out with the cold water. Be right back. Can you dry off? There, dry it off now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause for a minute, and rinse off my equipment. I'll be right back. And I'm back, and I see I just I put a little alum on the end of my nose, and I wiped it on my face as well, of course, all over, off camera. But we'll do the lemon chill on camera. So the nice mentholated lemon soap. I'm mean soap lemon aftershave from Sterling. Nice gobs of nice summertime. Oh, nice, nice to splash. Oh yeah. Oh, feeling it up along the cheek line. Okay, up on the edge. That's where I felt the sting. Okay, so I got myself a little bit more there than I thought. All right. All right, that feels nice. Mentholated. Oh yeah. If you never tried an a, a mentholated aftershave, yeah, it's got some burn to it. I enjoy that. I really do. I mean, of course, the alcohol's got burned anyway. It just it, it's it's like it lingers. The burn lingers. It's sitting there. It's burning right now. It's burning. <laughs> I can feel it in my ear a little bit even too. <laughs> but yeah, that, but it's the cool down. It's just uh, the menthol, especially in the summertime, just you know, tighten up the the pores. I like it. And 
there. Nice smooth shave. Need a haircut badly. But that's another story. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Oh, I'm feeling menthol in my eyes this a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I've got contacts in, of course, but <laughs> feeling that a little bit. That it dissipate just a couple minutes, it'll be gone. But I see a nice, enjoyable shave. Hope you like that new shaving bowl. I just think that thing is gorgeous. I just really like that Polish pottery. I can't remember the name of the place I got it. Doesn't really matter. You can find it all over. It's internet. You find it where you live. <laughs> But it came from South Carolina. I remember that. It did come out of South Carolina. So it didn't have far to go to North Carolina to get to me. Uh, but shave is done. Feeling good. Smelling good. And I hope you enjoyed. So go with God.